The Camden International Film Festival kicks off this weekend. It's got events and films happening in five different venues, three different towns. We're joined with a sneak peek. Executive Director Ben Fowley, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Okay, this is something that was started back in 2005. And back then I was reading, the thought was, okay, if we do this in a small coastal town, is this really gonna work? Mm -hmm. Will this attract the right people? What's happened over the years since then? Well, I think a lot of things. Um, certainly Maine is getting more and more popular every year as a destination for people trying to escape the, the kind of uh, the, the major cities. And uh, I think also the explosion of the documentary form, clearly, thanks to platforms like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. People are watching more films um, in their homes, and a lot of times those are more docs than, than narratives. Uh, so we're just capitalizing on that for sure and trying to remind people that there's, there's still value in a collective experience in watching films in the cinema. You have stories from all over the world, but a few of them from right here in Maine. Let's take a sneak peek on one of those, Scattering CJ. Thank you again from the bottom of my very broken mom heart for helping me give CJ one last amazing journey. Your kindness will never be forgotten. This is a story a lot of us will actually remember here in Maine because this mother lost her son to suicide and she had his ashes and actually started connecting with people all over the world and now people all over the world are helping to scatter those ashes. What do you love about this story? Why was it featured? Well, I mean, look, there's been a handful of, of films over the past 15 years that are connect, have a connection to the state. Um, you know, that's something I'm very proud of, obviously, obviously being from Maine. To, to have an opportunity to share these stories uh, in a theatrical setting, in a collective experience setting, where filmmakers, the subjects, the families, the people involved in the stories get a chance to watch it together with, with their community. Um, this film came on my radar at a, a poolside in Los Angeles, uh, and it's a British producer and a, a filmmaker working out of DC that were not on my radar. So it's just the magic of how these things happen. Uh, they were both compelled by the story, moved by the story, and decided a feature film was, was necessary. Um, and so this is going to be the world premiere. This is the first time anyone will have a public opportunity to see the film. We're really excited about what we can do around it as far as conversations, facilitating such during the festival. But you know, having the family here to recognize their incredible work um, amidst the loss is, is a really special opportunity for us as an organization. Another main film, really quickly, uh, focuses on the artist Alan McGee. We can get some video of that, but what was it about this one that stood out to you? So, um, obviously Rockland being the art capital of Maine, there's a lot of incredible artists, uh, an incredible gallery supporting work like Alan McGee's. Um, again, another opportunity though to say, here's a, a living legend, kind of in the prime of his career, um, making work that is just exceptional. This film is an opportunity for viewers to kind of get a, an inside uh, peek at Alan McGee's brain, which is a, a special treat. And I think anyone who's seen his work would want to take that venture. Uh, this film allows you to really better understand his creative process, what's driving him as an artist, which again, for, for such a history of, of uh, supporting uh, the, 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 the sculptors, the painters in Maine, this is a real opportunity to kind of get, it, get to know their, their inner works a bit better. I want to talk about how this festival overall has inspired a lot of other different great events. And one of them is actually, it sparked the Points North Institute. What is that? So the Points North Institute is something we launched three years ago. And the kind of um, the short answer is it's the umbrella organization for the Cameron International Film Festival. Many years ago, we started trying to figure out ways that we could expand beyond the four day footprint of uh, just screening films. And we decided that uh, we're, we're pretty equipped to be a, a place to support the next generation of nonfiction storytellers through a myriad of retreats, residencies, workshops. Maine is notorious for being a place for artists to come and remove themselves from the chaos of the cities and, and really focus on the creative, uh, the craft and their creative approach. And so we're trying to do that with, with uh, early career filmmakers working in nonfiction that are approaching it as an art form, as a cinematic form, um, and really trying to get their stories out into greater audiences. So we, we have a great opportunity to create a, a space where industry can come, understand what's happening in the, in the, the form, understand who is making work that, that is interesting and should be on their radar, and then kind of make those connections to see where they lead. Um, it's been a wonderful opportunity to see the, the Institute grow over three years and the results that we're seeing coming out of our, our fellowship and our residency programs 
are incredible. We have several this year that we're, we're highlighting that have had incredible runs starting at Sundance last January. Ben Fowley, thanks so much for coming in. The Camden International Film Festival it runs Thursday through Sunday. You can find more information and ticket information in the 207 section of our website, and we will be right back.